<clears throat> Hello everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. I mean today is the holiday where we give thanks for everything we've been through on our journeys, our destinations, and pretty much where we find ourselves throughout our I wanna say our most complicated trails. So yeah. I'm so glad Thanksgiving has arrived and this morning has given me the opportunity to do something on Thanksgiving Day. Make another um art masterpieces video. This is number twenty eight and I've got some new artworks I've been I, I have some I have some more artworks I've been working on, including the wooden signs I have been decorating with lately. So yeah. I've got some very good ones you haven't seen before, so if you haven't watched the last one, feel free to whenever you get a chance. So yeah. So this is my this is the twenty eighth um art masterpieces video, part twenty eight and I worked on some more wooden signs, decorating them just to keep myself busy, like always, as you know it. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you the new ones I've done, and lately the new ones have been really good to me as I work on them more. So, yeah. So, hang tight as I bring up the new ones. Okay, sorry about that. I was just pulling out this new stuff I've been working on, so you're going to be seeing them in a couple of minutes, so yeah. So I have been working on the wooden signs more and decorating them just to keep myself busy, part of my art, um, my artwork moments, my art, I should say my art, sorry, my art session moments, so yeah. Just to keep myself busy like always, so yeah, yeah. This week I bought a wooden plaque up in um, Walmart, from Walmart up in Rocky Hill. And I was thinking what to do with it, and the idea just came to me, so I'm going to show you that. But first I want to show you the ones I've been working on, the new wooden signs, so yeah. Uh, hold on, sorry, sorry. Had something in my mouth, so it's gone. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the new wooden signs I've been working on, and I got to going to love these, so I'm going to show you them, um, the first one I'm going to show you right now, so hang tight. Okay, here's the one I worked on. Yep, I worked on, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, so I'm gonna say this. I worked on this wooden sign on a fellow rest on a wrestling fellow, and I've been watching him. I mean, throughout his wrestling journeys. I mean, going back to Ring of Honor, and you all know the you all know this fellow very very much. I mean, he was seen in TNA before, and then Ring of Honor was mostly his home where he was always noticed, and then he made the jump to NXT and. After spending the majority of time on NXT, he went to AEW where he remains with Adam Cole and anyone that he knows from his time up NXT. So yeah. So get ready my friends as I show you the um the wooden sign I have done. This one is on AEW Wrestling Live, Mr. Roderick Strong. See right here. Ta da. Here's what I do with my pictures. You know me, just print them out, put them on the wooden sign, and just decorate them. Oh, uh, yeah. You got a picture of Strong giving his opponents the almighty kick like he does. I feel like not only, do you, not only do you come across his chops, but you come across his kicks that are no joke. 
all hail Roderick Strong right here underneath that says the pic underneath the words that said, underneath the picture says it down here, all hail Roderick Strong. And get ready as I show you the back after I show you this part. So yeah, so you can see for yourselves. Alright, I'm going to flip to the other side. Gotcha. And on, on the other side, you've got long live Roger Strong. As you see him giving one of his kicks straight to Samoa Joe. So yeah, as you know it. Oh, yeah. Hold this for a few more seconds, and then I will move on to the next wind sign I decorated on. Okay. All right, that was the first one, Taylor number two. I did this one on another wrestling lad, and you all wrestling fellows know this lad very much. I mean, spent most of his majority of time in WWE, and then. After not being seen for what many years, he comes to AEW and really makes a name for himself. Actually, why make a name for himself when he's already done that throughout the majority of his wrestling career? And then you've got this dude, I mean, just showing AEW what he can really do as a rebellious lad who you can never get uh, you can never get tired of seeing all the time, and you can never get, you can never definitely get enough of because he is a rebellious dude. So get ready as I show you this one, the next one sign that I have decorated on. And this one has my favorite lad. You know him. He's from Chicago, Illinois. He's Chicago's savior. And he is no other than, how do I say this? The best in the world, as you always hear. I give to you no other than Chicago's savior, Mr. C M Punk. Bam, right here. And underneath it, underneath his picture, well, you already know the one that says CM Punk is all elite. Underneath this picture, you got down saying, you got here saying, down here you got it saying, all hail Chicago savior and never back down. And plus I put his name right here so you can see for yourselves. So, yeah. I'll hold this up and then we'll move on to the other side, which you will definitely see for yourselves. You know, when I think of punk, I think of his theme song. Look in my eyes, what do you see? The cult of personality. I'm not going to lie, he chose the best theme song for his wrestling entrance theme. And that's always stuck with him as ever. So, yeah. Plus, it's living color. You can't get enough of them. All right, in a few more seconds, and then I'm going to head over to the other side as I turn this around. Okay, time to switch. Here on the other side, you got him ready, ready and prepared for his match that is coming about. Sorry. Yeah, you got Chicago Savior ready to get in the ring and ready to wrestle as we know it. Up here says, well, underneath the picture of him, it says, the war has risen, and his famous words of saying all the time when he's ready to get in the ring, it's clobbering time. So, yeah, that's Punk, CM Punk, Chicago's savior, as we know it. He is definitely a Chicago native, and you can't get enough of shy town as ever. Okay. 
All right, my friends, the third sign I'm about to show you, the third wooden sign I decorated on is definitely not another wrestling lad. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This lad has been very famous, especially all over the globe, internationally. He's from the United Kingdom. You pretty much see him in, I want to say, in Japanese pro wrestling, say like New Japan pro wrestling. And you'll see him when titles that involve like the IWGP US title and pretty much any title related to Japan. He's been seen in every organization, literally. I want to say, like, I want to say, where has he been seen in? Ring of Honor. Oh, yes, where he scored the Ring of Honor World Television title. And then you've got, I want to say, definitely, what else has he been seen at? He also was once seen at MLW, Major League, Major League Wrestling. Also, this lad was definitely seen at um, this year's pay-per-view, Bound for Glory, representing TNA Impact Wrestling. Oh yeah, he put on a wonderful, he put on a wonderful and tremendous performance in the ring against um, Mr. Speedball Dude, Mike Bailey. And I would say this: take nothing away from Speedball. He really put on a hell of a performance too. And this lad, who went against Speedball, really scored a. Nothing. That's nothing. Really scored a really scored a tremendous victory against him. Yeah, yeah. And now you have this lad in AEW, which I say was a very good for him. Which I say was a very good fit for him to go to instead of WWE. If he went to WWE, I felt like they would have ruined something that he really worked hard to make. I feel like WWE. I feel like WWE would ruin something that. This lad had worked so very hard to create himself for. Especially when it came to a wrestling character that everyone can love, admire, and never get tired of seeing in the wrestling ring. He even can't get enough of it as we know it. So get ready as I show you my next win sign. And this one is on, you know this dude very, very much. That's why he's in AEW as ever right now. So allow me to show you the next win sign that is on other than the Aerial Assassin. Will Ospreay, one of my favorite lads. I never get tired of seeing because I took a liking to this dude. And he's like so phenomenal in the wrestling ring. So here's a win side done on the aerial assassin. This is him right here, Will Ospreay. He is definitely a high flyer, and his greatest um, influencer that he loved watching in the wrestling ring every time he was watching wrestling was I want to say. Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. No one can get enough of those two as ever. So, yeah. I'm going to switch it to the other side, and you're going to see it. You're going to see the next picture of him. So, yeah. Hold this for a few more seconds, and then I'm going to switch it to the other side. All right, here we go. This is Osprey right here winning something very big as he holds um, his home country's flag right behind him, around him as ever. And you can see up here saying, long live Will Osprey. So yeah, Osprey will always, is one of my favorite wrestling dudes you can never get. You can get never get. He is one of my favorite wrestling lads you never get tired of seeing in the wrestling ring every time something new happens down the tr down the road. So yeah. Hold this for a few more seconds, and I'm going to move on to the last one, which I have a feeling you're all going to love, especially what I did this past week. Okay. Alright, the last one I'm about to show you, this one was very big to me. Actually, let me put it like this. I was at Walmart this week, and I was trying to find another wind sign I could do to keep... T I was looking for another wind sign. I was trying and looking for another wind sign to decorate on, but the one 
I mean, the Walmart up in Rocky Hill, it didn't pretty much have that much wooden signs. So I did see a few, like a wooden plaque. And then I was like, what can I do with this wooden plaque? That would be very good. And then a very tremendous idea came into my head as I knew exactly what to do. So to tell the truth, I decided to create this plaque. I decided to do something with this plaque in a creative way and turn it into an award where I made up this um this organization community called the uh, Autism Organization Community. Saying like related to the autism which is, which I would say in my heart relates to the autism community as ever and I decided to make this award and give it to the one um the one welcoming autism organization that has really made the autism community feel like it's a there is hope and there will be no abandonment. There will be no abandoning as ever. And this wonderful organization representing the autism community has been very this autism organization has been very, very welcoming with open arms. And I remember the first time I met them, I really came along onto the scene and just, I really made a difference for everyone to feel com to feel safe and belong, even with their well-being being cared for. So, I'm going to tell you this, I made a creative award, I created this award for my Safe Haven family, and that Safe Haven family would be Autism Families Connecticut. With Autism Families Connecticut, located in Berlin, Connecticut. So, yeah. I created this award for them, and what I'm about to show you right now is something I really did coming from me. Like I said, be creative with art as you bring out anything that you have related to creativity. Be creative. Bring out your creative side. And throw in what you got in store that no one has ever seen before. So, yeah. So, let me show you what I did, and I got a feeling you guys are going to love this. So, and if anyone from the autism families, I mean, if anyone that loves coming to Autism Families Connecticut, or anyone that work with Autism Families Connecticut, AFC is watching this, you know, this is definitely for you. So, here we go. This is why I did with the plaque and turned it into a creative award for Autism Families Connecticut. Up here it says the Autism Organization Community is proud to present this ALC, which stands for Autism Organization Community Award to Autism Friends Connecticut for tremendous and wonderful work in the autism community. And underneath this, the day I got it done, which was done on a Monday. Mon actually, it was a Monday. I was. Yeah, actually, it was a Sunday. My no, no, I was right. Monday. It was a Monday. Got it done on a Monday. So, yeah. Because last Sunday was the 19th. So, yeah. It was done on a Monday. And I'm glad I got to create this because... Autism... I mean, Autism Families Connecticut is definitely my safe haven. My safe haven family. And... I, and they, have walk, they have definitely welcomed me in with opening arms as you know it as, as ever. And... I am very thrilled. And... Just... I can never get enough of them as ever. They are definitely my safe haven family as ever. So I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see for yourselves. I know the light can be difficult to deal with, so sorry. I'll hold it like this right here. Alright, and tell you this after this, I'm willing to wrap this up.
Okay. We have my friends. That was the last um wooden sign I decorated, even though it was a wooden plaque. And it was a very creative one I did that became a creative award for my Safe Haven family, AFC, Autism Families, Connecticut. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, art masterpieces video. This was number 28 as I mentioned while starting this and I hope you guys enjoyed this one coming from me. Especially on Thanksgiving which is today as we know it. Now I just want to say this before I wrap this up. I want to say happy Thanksgiving to all you loves out there. Please spend time with your loved ones and please be thankful for what you are mostly thankful for of what you have come across and come along and what you have come along throughout your journey so yeah please be thankful for anyone that has been or anything else that has been part of your journey as you know it so yeah i know i'm thankful for as i mentioned before i'm thankful i'm thankful for my art my poetry and the autism community as ever and Let's just say, when you're thankful for something, you make the most out of things. So I just want to say this right out. Happy Thanksgiving, loves. Thank you for your time and need. Make the most out of this day. Spend time with your loved ones, as I mentioned before. And I will see you next time, the next time I make another Art Masterpieces video. Number 29, I will say, will be in the works, so keep your eyes out open for that. Other than that, happy Thanksgiving, loves, and have a wonderful day on this holiday. Take care. Again, happy Thanksgiving.